Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we'll have the discussion of the important questions that is two marks and the five marks questions from the very important lesson, Last Leaf by O. Henry. And this lesson is, is in the first semester BCom BBA Generic English under Bangalore University and Bangalore North University. So without much delay, let's begin. The two marks questions which you need to write in a word, phrase or a sentence. So these two marks questions I have taken from the textbook and few extra questions. Question number one. What does places refer to in the story The Last Leaf? So in a little district west of Washington Square, the streets have run crazy and broken themselves into small strips called places. Second question. Whom did Mr. Pneumonia infect? Mr. Pneumonia infected Mr. John C. Mention the similar taste of Sue and John C. Sue and John C. had similar taste in art, chicory, salad, and bishop sleeves. So congenial that the joint studio resulted. Fourth question, why did Sue ask the doctor to come home? Pneumonia had struck Greenwich Village Jonesy was down with the disease. Her frail body was unable to cope with the severity of the attack. She lays in a bed miserably, forlorn and delirious. Her condition was deteriorating fast. Alarmed at her friend's plight, Sue had asked the doctor to come and examine Jonesy. So Jonesy was suffering from pneumonia and she has become very weak. So finally, Sue asked the doctor to come and examine John C. Then, the little lady mentioned by the doctor refers to John C. Question number six. According to the doctor, chances of John C. recovery, John C.'s recovery from pneumonia are little. Why? According to the doctor, John C.'s condition was worrisome because she did not show any signs of improvement despite good treatment. He thought that perhaps she had lost her will to live and no medicine could help her in his negative state of mind. In this negative state of mind, that's the reason the doctor has mentioned here. There are chances of, of recovery are very much little, very much low. Sue had Sue and John C were artists. Yes, they were artists. True. What was John C counting and why was she counting? John C kept looking out of the window and counted backwards to note the number of leaves left on the ivy creeper she believed that she would die when the last leaf fell whereas the leaves were falling in normal process of nature during the autumn season question number nine what is special about the houses in greenwich village the houses in greenwich village had dutch attics and 18th century gables most of the special heritage of greenwich village is is in federal and greek revival buildings styles that have not survived comparably in other districts that's the reason that the greenwich village is famous for its houses what did sue hear while she was painting she heard low sound of john c counting numbers several times repeated what was behrman's dream behrman's dream was to paint a masterpiece Question number 12. John C. and Sue were surprised to find that the, in spite of the storm and the gusty wind, what's the option is here, the correct option is here, the single ivy leaf still clung to the vine. Still clung to the vine. So these are the 12 questions are from the textbook and the remaining questions I have, uh, I mean to say, I have compiled from the different sources so that you can get some extra questions. Question number 13. Who were Sue and John C? Sue and John C were artists. What fear did John C, you know, spelling error, what fear did John C, J O H N S Y, what fear did John C have in her mind? She would pass away on the day when the last leaf on the creeper fell. That's a fear in her mind. What was happening to the leaves on the creeper outside the John C's house? Outside John C's house. The leaves were falling due to the extreme cold and strong wind. Then 16. Who was Behrman? Behrman was an old painter. What did Behrman do 
Behrman painted a picture of a creeper with a single leaf on the wall. What happened to Behrman? Behrman passed away due to pneumonia. What was Behrman's masterpiece? Behrman's masterpiece was a painting of a creeper with a single leaf on it. Then who saved Johnson's life? Behrman, the old painter, saved Johnson's life. What saved Johnson's life? The last leaf painted by Behrman on the wall opposite Johnson's window saved a life. The, la the leaf was a true replica of the last leaf hanging on the ivy creeper. Johnson mistook it to be a real leaf and felt that she had been wicked and it was a sin to die. So she got a new energy, a new life in this manner. So these were the two marks questions which could help you, which can help you to prepare for the examination. Now we, we shall have a discussion for the five marks questions with reference to the textbook as well as some extra questions. So let's begin. First question, describe Greenwich in your Greenwich Village in your words. Historically, Greenwich Village was famously known as an epicenter for the American Bohemia movement of the early and mid 20th century. It was known as an artist neighborhood with electric and avant-garde residents. Due to its inhabitants, small art galleries, alternative theater and controversial publications thrived. It was also home to many political and social movements of the time. To quaint old Greenwich Village, the art people soon came. It was prowling, hunting for north windows in 18th century gables and the Dutch attics in the low rents. Then they imported some pewter mugs and a chafing dish or two from 6th Avenue and became a colony. That's about Greenwich Village for five marks question. Then what was bothering John C. as she lay on her sick bed? Pneumonia had ravaged John C.'s body and mind. The acute suffering robbed her of all desire to patiently wait out the crisis. She convinced herself that the time to depart had indeed come. She became obsessed with an old wine creeper that was shedding leaves one by one due to the seasonal reasons. Quite illogically, she linked the dwindling number of wine leaves to her remaining lifespan. She concluded that the fall of the last leaf would herald the arrival of a death. Thus, she waited, quite foolishly, for the last leaf to fall. That was bothering John C. when she was lying on a sick bed, that she would die very soon. How is pneumonia personified in the story? We have seen pneumonia is called as Mr. Pneumonia. How is it personified? In the story, the last leaf, pneumonia was personified as an invisible antagonist. An antagonist is the counterpart of the main character who brings conflicts in the story. So the illness brought a scare to the city of Washington, which eventually visited the main character, John C. in the story. The personification of pneumonia by O. Henry in the story, The Last Leaf, made the opponent of John C. look real and helped the reader to be moved and to support John C. in a fight against this opponent. That's about pneumonia as personification. Then write a note on the doctor's diagnosis. What has doctor diagnosed? The doctor examined the ailing John C. He was not uh, sanguine about her ability to fight off the, of the virulent pneumonia, which had virtually dragged her to the brink. So he found that she's too much weak and she's unable to fight with pneumonia. He conveyed this to Sue, but assured her that John C. still had 10% chance of survival. He promised to give the best medicine, but regretfully said that the patient's mental submission to the infection was undermining her body's capacity to fight back. He advised Sue to do everything possible to inject some hope and willpower back to the desolate John C. 
if this happened the efficacy of the medication would be doubled he assured he suggested sue to explore if john c had any unfulfilled desire that could be met to make her recover her lost mental strength so this is how doctor has diagnosed and doctor has suggested sue how to bring back the health of john c how did Behrman save Johnson's life. What's the role of Behrman here? Behrman learned about Johnson's fancies. He did not waste a single second. He took a lantern because it was dark. He took a ladder because he had to paint the leaf on the wall. He took brushes and colors. He painted the leaf on the wall though it was raining, raining heavily. The leaf, the real leaf had already fallen. The painted leaf stuck to the wall. John C. said the last leaf still intact. It revived confidence and will to live in her. It was Behrman's masterpiece. Behrman died of pneumonia but saved John C.'s life. This is how Behrman saved John C.'s life. Question number six. What was Behrman's masterpiece according to Sue? Why? Behrman's masterpiece is the last leaf on the ivy creeper. Creeper. Sue calls it as a masterpiece because this painting rekindled the willingness to live in Jones's heart and she was able to recover from her illness. Jonesy had eventually developed a fear that she would die when the last leaf fell from the ivy creeper. But Behrman spent an entire night in a heavy storm to paint a fresh green leaf. Behrman himself was suffering from pneumonia because of the getting drenched while painting and eventually died. However, next morning, on seeing that, on seeing that leaf, John C. thought it was real leaf and got a feeling of self-belief. She realized that she could get well if she wanted to and came out of her illness. This is how that was the masterpiece of Behrman. Write a brief character sketch of Behrman. That's very important character. Old Behrman was a painter. He was past 60, but he was a failure in art. He earned very little through his paintings. He always said that he was going to paint a masterpiece. But for the last 40 years, he had not even begun it. Behrman was drunkard. His beard was long and curling. It gave him the look of an imp. He was a tough fellow. He hated weakness in a man. He lived on the ground floor beneath Sue and John C. He considered himself the guardian. He was very kind and helpful at heart. When he came to know of John C.'s fancy, he decided to help her. He went out in the rain and snow and painted a leaf on the wall. It saved John C.'s life, but he caught but he but he he was caught or he caught pneumonia and died thus behrman plays a very vital role in the story he sacrificed his life and saved johnson's life draw a character sketch of sue she's an important character in the story the last leaf sue is an artist girl she and john c have a joint studio in the artist colony she's kind and noble at heart she has a quality a qualities of a true friend. John C. gets an attack of pneumonia. Sue nurses her with love and care. She works day and night to earn through money, enough money. With this money, she buys medicines and a good diet for a friend. She feels shocked when the doctor says that John C. doesn't have many chances of recovery. John C. has a fancy that she will die when the last leaf of the creeper falls. She tries her best to cheer her up. She says that her fancy is foolish and baseless. She tells of John's, she tells of John's fancy of old Behrman. He paints the last leaf on the wall and saves John C. Thus, Sue is a kind and noble girl. She is a true friend. Now, very important question. Justify the title of the story, The Last Leaf. This is a very psychological story. The whole story is based on the last leaf. John C. was a young artist girl. She and her friend Sue lived together. 
one day uh, there's a spelling error one day john c caught pneumonia there was an ivy creeper on the back wall of the next house from a window john c watched that creeper its leaves were falling fast in the cold window and uh, cold winds john c got a fancy that she would also die when the last leaf of the creeper fell she lost the will to live her condition became worse Behrman, an old painter, came to know of this fancy of John C. The next night, the last leaf fell, but the same night, but the same night, Behrman painted a leaf on the wall. It looked like a real leaf. When John C. saw that the leaf, which the leaf has brought her life, the painting, the the painting, the painted leaf saved John C.'s life. That's the last leaf. This, the leaf plays an important role in the story. So the title of the story is apt and justified. Now you have the last question. And uh, uh, last question, describe briefly how John Behrman saved John's life. The last leaf is a story of supreme sacrifice by a rest drunken artist. Who was Behrman? What was his masterpiece? Why did he paint? So they're all extra questions. And uh, let's try to cover by with a single answer. Sue and John C. were two young artists, young girl artists. They lived together in the artist colony. Once John C. caught pneumonia, she developed a fancy that she would die when the last leaf on the IV creeper fell, IVY. The doctor said that she would take she should take an interest in life and wish to live. Only then could she be saved. Behrman was an old painter. He lived in, on the ground floor beneath them. He was a failure in art. For 40 years, he had been trying to paint a masterpiece, but he had not yet started. He came to know of John's fancy. The night the last leaf fell, he painted a leaf on the wall. He worked all night in the air and snow and painted the leaf. The next morning, John C. saw the leaf on the wall. Her will to live returned. Her life was saved, but Behrman caught pneumonia and died. Thus, Behrman sacrificed his life and saved John C.'s life, and the last leaf painted on the wall was his masterpiece. So friends, this is how I have tried to uh, solve all the questions of the famous lesson, The Last Leaf, on the first MBCOM BB, Generic English, BU and BNU. And for all the videos of your, of your syllabus, first semester BCOM BB, you can find all the videos links of Generic English in the description box. Please go through the description, description box. You'll get all the video grammar video, last leaf, all creatures, all the lessons videos you'll get, you'll get in the description box. And also you can go to the, um, the playlist of first semester become BU, BNU. And please do subscribe my channel. If you're not, if you're not yet subscribed, click on the like button, write in the comment box and give me some sort of critical or the productive feedback. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can reach me at Mukesh English at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you so much. Wish you, wish you good luck for the forthcoming examination.